Most AI tools that you will find on GitHub are useless for your projects. In this video, I will teach you some secrets to find the ones that actually work. As a software engineer who creates AI projects for a living, I use these strategies to find projects and tools that I implement myself or that I just learned from. So here on the GitHub search portal, we're going to get started by trying to find a project that allows us to inject our own documentation into an AI system. To do this, let's start with a query like, how can I use my own documents in AI? And if I search for this, unfortunately, it seems like we actually only get one result. And this even seems to be a relevant result about hand detection. So this is the first pitfall that you want to avoid. Don't write full sentences, but instead use keywords. In our case, why don't we just use the keywords document and AI? If we search for it like this, we get over 5,000 results. In fact, that's maybe a bit too much. I cannot go through all these repos myself, right? And this is where advanced search filters come in. I will teach you right now how you can pin down the high quality repositories from this huge list. First of all, we want to make sure that the repositories have been updated recently. You can see here that there is a document AI repository that was last updated in May of 2023. If you're familiar with the AI domain at all, you will know that that's basically prehistoric, right? We want to make sure that the repos have been updated recently. To do that, we go back to our search and we type the following. We say pushed, we add a colon, and then we say that we want to make sure that this repository was updated at least once in December. So 2024, month of December, the first day. If we search for repos like this, we actually only have 440 results left. I mean, that's still too many, but we're getting there, right? So now that we know that all of these repositories are active, how about we make sure that they are popular enough? We are going to use the stars filter for this. I want to tell you that stars don't indicate the quality of a repository per se, but they do indicate that the community has approved of them and that they're probably being used in a couple of important projects. I do want to strike a balance here and actually only look at repositories that have at least 100 stars. This way, I don't get rid of all of the repositories that are up and coming, but just don't have a lot of community uh, re reception yet. But I do make sure that repositories that are very obscure and irrelevant are removed from my search query. So I'm going to go ahead and filter on that. And now you can see that we only have 21 repositories left. So we're getting there. However, it is important to note that just because code is on GitHub, it doesn't mean that you can actually use this code for your own projects. It depends on the license of the code. So I always make sure to look for two license types myself, the MIT license and the Apache license 2.0. These two license types allow me to reuse the code for even commercial purposes and build on top of it. If I filter repositories for these two license types, we actually only have 11 repositories left. So we are really getting there, but I'm gonna do one extra filter. Personally, I like to use Python for AI projects. So I wanna make sure that the repositories are written in Python. This is why I'm going to add a language filter and make sure that all of the results are written in Python. Doing this leaves us with just six repositories. And that's great because we can obviously just go through those manually to find the project that we want to use. Starting from the bottom in, bottom in this case, we actually have this Haystack core integrations repo, which seems to add some packages to some kind of other program. We have Extract Thinker, which seems to be a document intelligence library for LLMs. We even have a project here, which is not just about the document injection, but is a whole private chat interface. It's maybe a bit too much for now. And we have a repository here that's a bit domain specific because this is about scientific documents. I'm trying to find something more general purpose, so we will skip that one as well. And actually, the repository that I'm looking for is one that I've explored before. It's called Docling. And Docling is a repository that allows you to get any documents ready for Gen AI. This repository is one that's at the top of our list because we are sorting by best match and it's got a bunch of stars. It's been updated, it's in Python, it's basically everything that we want. So based on this, let's go ahead and explore that repository. We already know it's relevant. 
that it's vetted by the community, and that it's up to date. Because this repository is so popular, we can be pretty certain that the readme will contain all the details that we need. And indeed, Doclink contains a pretty big readme that has a lot of information. Information like the Python version that it supports, in this case, multiple, the amount of downloads that it has per month, it seems pretty, pretty popular. And this specific repository even has a related paper. So that's pretty cool. And if we look at the features, this allows us to read popular document formats and export it to any of these formats with embeddings for our AI systems. That sounds like exactly what I want. So next time we'll actually dive into Docling and turn any document into AI ready data. If you want to get better at using AI projects and see this video, then follow me here on YouTube and I'll see you then.